Hello everyone, welcome to Code Arena and today we are going to make YouTube logo with HTML and CSS. So let's get started. First we'll make the boilerplate by hitting the exclamation mark and we'll give the title to YouTube logo. And then we will link to styles.css and then we will study that how YouTube logo really looks like. So this is YouTube logo and we are having a rectangular shape. Borders are curved and we are having the triangle. So let's start. And uh, first we will make the main containers div main logo. And inside it we are having a triangle. So we'll make one more div triangle cool now we will go to styles.css and let's go live now we will go to styles.css and we will target the main logo now in this main logo we will set the width for let's say 200 pixels for now let's save this and let's keep the height for 100 pixels and then the background color red let's see i think uh, it's okay okay now the border radius part arrives because we need to curve the borders so let's say for 30 or 32 pixels let's try 32 pixels i think uh, it's okay we will do display flex which is the main things because it will help the inner triangle to be centered automatically and the justify content will be also centered and the align items will be also centered the body part we will target the body part and we will set the background color to black and let's say position relative if you don't know about positioning so basically if we do position relative then the body will be the parent of the main logo we can control the main logo in the body wherever we want and for that we need to do position absolute okay now let's control it by doing let's do top for 30 pixels see it's coming or we can do for 40 pixels okay now from the left side we can do let's say 130 pixels save this okay it's perfect so we are ready with our youtube logo but what i think that this height is not proper so let's increase the height let's say 130 pixels would be better okay it's perfect now oh, we are ready with our logo but the triangle inside it it's is still pending so how to do it let's find out the way so basically it will be having some kind of conditions like let's first target the triangle and inside it first we'll study so basically this is the top function but it is slant so first we'll be having border top by the border top what we can do is we can slant it a bit so let's say 30 pixels solid transparent because we don't want any kind of colors to the top one now let's see the next one we are having the left part this is the left part and we will set the width this will measure all the width so let's see border left would do like we need to increase it more let's say 50 pixels solid but it will be white because we are having the triangle in white color it will measure the width and it will apply the color now the next one is the bottom part but it is slant upwards so let's do border bottom border bottom and inside it will do the same as top like 30 pixels solid transparent now we will save it and let's see the result so we are having like this but what i think that we should decrease the size like 28 pixels would be better 28 pixels i think now it's looking 
more better so let's see this one is the result but I think that the borders are more curved than this so let's change the border radius so we can have like 37 pixels I think now it's looking more better so we are done with our logo and congratulations share it with your friends and thanks for watching